This is Engage New York, Module Two, Lesson I uh, Module Three, Lesson Two. This is Concept Development, or Part Two of the lesson. Concept Development. Today we are adding up numbers using like denominators, which is probably the nicest, easiest, friendliest way to add a fraction is having like denominators. So a numerator is always the top number. The denominator is always the bottom number. And the re way I remember it is North Dakota. That's how I know I remember what what word is on top. North Dakota. It's the little things. All right. So all we're going to do today is add up uh, fractions using a num and we're going to use the number line. So if you want to use pens or colors or whatever you want or your pencil, that's fine. So at zero, if I'm starting at zero and I have one third and I add a second one third, I end up at where? Two thirds, right? So one third plus one third is equal to two thirds. Or what I like to think about is two, I have two of the exact same thing, right? I have two one thirds, correct? So two times one third is equal to two thirds. Yes? All right. Now let's go to force. Now, if I start at zero and I have one fourth and I add another fourth and I add another fourth, I end up at three fourths. So that's the same as one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is equal to three fourths. Or another way to think about it is I have one group of one fourth, a second group of one fourth, and a third group of three fourths. So I have three groups of one fourth, which is three times one fourth, which equals three fourths. So three groups of one fourth equals three fourths. Make sense? Cool. All right, moving on. Now we're going to eighths. So we have three eighths. So let's go, let's start here at zero. Let's jump to three eighths. And we're going to add another three eighths. Now we're going to add one eighth. We end up at seven eighths, correct? So let's write it out. So I have three eighths plus three eighths plus one more eighth. And we ended at seven eighths, correct? Yes. All right. Now I have two groups. I have two groups, whoa, of three eighths plus one eighth is going to give us seven eighths. But wait, we could go two times three eighths is, gives us six eighths plus one eighth equals seven eighths. Make sense? It's just another way of looking at all this, right? Using like the number line, using and all of a sudden going, hey, wait, I have two groups of this. I can multiply that and then add more. All right, next group. So I have two over two, which is one whole, two over two, which is one whole, and two over two, which is one whole. I have three groups of one whole, right? I have three groups of, all right, so three groups of two over two 
right, is going to give us six halves. But now let's take a look at it using the number line. So if I have one group of 2 over 2, I have another group of 2 over 2, which gives us 4 over 2. And then I have one more group of 2 over 2, which is 6 halves. Well, 6 halves also gives us 3 holes. Okay? Any confusion or questions? All right. So we have 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2. So we have a one hole plus another hole plus another hole equals three holes. Now we have three groups, three groups of, and remember, the multiplication sign means the word of 2 over 2, which gives us 6, 3 times 6 over 2, which equals 3. Okay? Moving right along. Let's now go to 5 fifths. So if you have, how many fifths are hiding inside that 5 fifths? What's well, 1 fifth plus 2 fifths plus 3 fifths plus 4 fifths? plus five-fifths are all hiding inside that fifth, correct? All right, so now we have five-fifths plus three-fifths, which is eight-fifths. Now, now we're starting to go, oh, wait, that's in, that. this is called an improper fraction. This is a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. The minute your number becomes greater on top, and smaller on the bottom, it's called improper. So if I have three fifths, three fifths, and then I have an, oh wait, no, five fifths. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I skipped ahead of myself here. If I have five fifths, and I add another, which is one whole, and I jump ahead to another, three fifths, I end up at eight fifths, right? Yes or no? We're almost there. Okay, so now we have five fifths plus three fifths is eight fifths. Now, how many fifths are hiding in here? Well, five fifths is really equal to one, correct? plus three-fifths. So our answer is really one and three-fifths. Got it? Perfect. Okay, now, last but not least, we're moving on. Problem five. So now we have six-thirds. Six-thirds, that looks like an improper fraction to me. So now we have six-thirds. So remember, three over three is equal to one whole. And now we have three over three and three over three in here, right? So we really have two holes sitting right in here. Oh, and look at that. Two holes. So let's see what happens here. So here's three, three, three thirds plus three thirds plus one third. So if we pull this apart, we have three plus three plus one is seven thirds, correct? So this is this right here is pulled apart. So if we have two groups of three thirds, two groups of three thirds is six over three. Now plus one third. So this one right here is really six thirds, and that's going to end up, whoops, making seven thirds. So let's, let's map it out. So here's one, here's three thirds, another three thirds, and then one more, 
we end up at 7 thirds. Cool? All right, you guys. Good job. I think now we're going to just go over and look at the problem set for this. The problem set for this is show each expression on a number line. So you're supposed to create a number line. Here's zero, 0 over 5 and 5 over 5. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths. Now, if we start at 2 fifths and add one more fifth, you end up at 3 fifths. Yes? So you, the expectation is you, that you use a number line to model what this is. Model this, this uh, repeated addition in some cases. And then right here, express each fraction as the sum of two or three equal partial, fra I mean fraction parts. So six sevenths could be what? Four sevenths plus two sevenths? Would that equal six sevenths? Is that the same thing? Is could I can I show six sevenths as four sevenths plus two sevenths? And then I could just draw it on a number line, however you want to do it. And then nine halves. Well, how could you What was that? All right. So instead of breaking it up in four sevenths and two sevenths, I kept reading, rewrite each as a multiplication equation. So in order to rewrite it as a, re a re multiplication equation, you have to have a repeating, it has to be repeated addition in order to have multiplication. So in order to have a multiplication sentence, you have to have some sort of repeated addition. So 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is also 2 times 3 sevenths, which is 6 sevenths. And then this one here, 8 halves and 1 half, because this could really be, you could break this up into 3 halves plus 3 halves plus 3 halves, right? And you could do... 3 times 3 halves, which would be 9 halves. You can do something like that. 4 tenths plus 4 tenths plus 4 tenths would be 3 times 4 tenths. 27 fifths could be 9 fifths plus 9 fifths plus 9 fifths would be 3 times 9 fifths would equal 27 fifths. But don't forget, you have to draw a number line for each one of those. Then express each of the following as the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So a whole number. So what whole number is, hang is hanging out in here? Well, if we break this down to 7 over 7 plus 2 sevenths, right? There's a whole number hiding inside there. Then if we broke this into 2 over 2 plus 7 over 2, well, oh my gosh, how I could break that down, right? So that's what it's talking about. How many whole numbers can you find and pull out in here? So here is a whole number, here is a whole number, here is a whole number, right? Then 32 sevenths. These are where we step it up a notch right here. Okay, so Maricela cut four equivalent lengths of ribbon. Hmm, sounds vaguely familiar. Each was five eighths of a yard long. So four equivalent lengths of ribbon, right? Each was five eighths. Each one 
was five eighths. How many yards of ribbon did she cut? Well, how many feet are in a yard? Perfect. There are three feet in one yard. So you need to know that information. How many yards of ribbon did she cut? So Marcella cut four equivalent lengths of ribbon. Each was five eighths of a yard long. How many yards of ribbon did she cut? Express your answer as the sum of a whole number. So sum of a whole number and the remaining fractional units. So there's got to be a whole number plus your fraction. Your whole number plus your fraction. So five eighths of a yard long. So each one of these is five eighths of a yard long. So how many, how many did she cut? So I want you to go ahead and try that out. All right, good luck. And I'm sure you will do very well.